dog treats have gotten very expensive so I have some great tips for you guys that want to be right back that want to feed your dog healthier more natural dog treats for a budget discount price now the regular grocery store has become quite expensive so I will have some tips and tricks there but I'm talking about what dog treats can you buy at the Dollar Tree and first of all stay out of the pet section because the actual dog treats are something that should never be consumed highly carcinogenic your dog will be growing masses and tumors in no time if you feed them the actual dog treats so I frequent the Dollar Tree and I check out their snack sections and every once in a while they'll have something kosher they'll have something that I can eat in the food or grocery section sometimes it's like a really expensive item which they uh, baked incorrectly or put too much baking powder in so it tastes weird but um, sometimes they just have um, a food item that's okay and it's not GMO and it's not full of poison now the Dollar Tree by my house has staples that they carry they are always in stock and some things that are great deals and wonderful treats for your dog oh, um, I'm just going to show you guys three things that uh, make great dog treats that are at Dollar Tree so the first shoot the first is um, there is cauliflower pasta at the Dollar Tree now the reason this is a good dog treat is because it tastes absolutely disgusting. I tried one, like before I cooked it, I just tried it raw, and it tastes gross. Like, I can't eat this. But um, the dogs love it. Like, it's dried, it doesn't have a strong smell, but they go insane for this. Like, my little dog, she gets really excited, and she, like, like, runs to get these. So, I know that they have to be healthy, and no one's denying that these are un uh, healthy or unhealthy, but... They just taste awful, but dogs love them. So the ingredients of this is lentil, pea, and cauliflower flour. That's all. So peas, lentils, and cauliflower. But guys, the taste is gross. Like it really does taste like, uh, it tastes like kind of um, decomposing cauliflower, I guess. But the lentils, just the way they combined it together, it and it's um, got a lot of flavor at least dry now I don't have a lot of money so sometimes when I want a snack like I'll just get some dry pasta and put it in my mouth like this is pretty sad I tried that with this and it's so gross like sometimes I'll be really hungry and I'll try one anyways and I'm like ugh. but the dogs they love this so they have different um, shapes they've got the long skinny I think this type of shape is better for dogs, the thicker, wider pasta. So this is uh, just peas, lentils, and cauliflower, ingredients that are healthy and good for your dog. Nothing else is added. And the reason it's a dog treat is it's too disgusting for a human to consume. I mean, I don't know. Maybe if there's something wrong with your taste buds. Okay, so then the next things, that these are even better. So um, they have Pampa. Papa's brand look at which ones you get because they have some with tomato sauce that have MSG in it but the uh, plain sardines and brine and the mackerel and brine uh, this is actually really good quality and it's a dollar and like this can is really heavy and it's packed full of large pieces of whole fish like 
you can tell it's a whole fish and it's just cut into like four pieces and they jam it in here. Like this is an amazing deal. And uh, it does say it's probably from China here. Uh, yeah, this is from China, but guess what? The Chinese people actually eat pretty good. Uh, their authentic food is fresh vegetables and fish, so they actually are eating a lot better than we are, for the most part. Uh, there is MSG in a lot of stuff, but still. Um, the ingredients are sardines, water, and salt. No MSG, no chemicals, no preservatives, nothing. Oh, I guess salt is a preservative. So, this is very, very heavy. This can here is about 9 ounces. Oh, it says net, net weight, 15 ounces. This is almost a pound, like with the can. This is almost a pound. That's how heavy this is. And it's jam-packed full of large chunks of fish. And get your fork out and, like, break off pieces of fish and feed it to your dogs. They absolutely love this. And this could last several days. If not, like, I have three dogs, so I fed it to them. Like, I ate a little bit of it, and it was good. And I could tell it was real fish, and it had the fatty skin and everything, and it tasted good. But I ate a little bit of it, and then I kept feeding the dogs. And there was so much in here. It's a great deal. And the, uh, the sardines have an easy open top here. So this is almost a pound with the can. Like, this is an amazing deal. And even the water, you can pour in their bowl. They love all of it. A lot of the nutrients with the juice. And the mackerel, um, this is a smaller can, and it does not have the easy open top on it. But uh, if you just want to change things up a little bit, your dog probably um, doesn't care. So um, if you're going to eat it, you might like the mackerel better. This is still a good price, like $1.25. But you get a lot more in this one, um, and it's easier to open. So, But uh, this one says the net weight is 10 ounces, so considerably smaller, but still a great price, and plenty enough to feed one dog for several days, or multiple dogs one day for like a full meal. This is a lot in here. And this is also um, from China, but here's the ingredients. Mackerel, water, and salt. Three ingredients. So... Um, Sometimes um, China can make foods that are healthy, or at least not bad. And if you're getting things like mushrooms, uh, water uh, chestnuts, and uh, like the mini corns and stuff that they eat, and also a lot of these fish, um, then it's not going to be bad. Uh, what's unhealthy are like the exports and like the junk food, uh, and like the sauces and things. But this is actually really good quality. And I can tell it's a good quality because I've eaten a lot of canned fish and I've eaten a lot of fish over the years. I was surprised to open these up and the taste, like you can tell, this is good quality fish. And there's no confusing what it is. They're like large pieces. So you can actually see the fish body. Uh, you're not getting scammed or conned here. So of course, um, you can eat some too. But for me, like... The fish is very fishy, so after I have a few bites of it, really, I'm done. So, there's enough in this for me to eat enough, like for a snack, and still the majority of it's left, and I just feed it to the dogs. This is a great deal, and they're not going to need very much dog food the rest of the day, so you may be saving money, honestly. Uh, but this, I, I have to show you guys, this cauliflower pasta, like, it is so yucky, like it's so disgusting to me. But uh, the reason I'm showing this to you, and don't give them too much because it's dry. The reason I'm showing you this is because how excited they get. Like, they're almost as excited as eating fish. Like, maybe it's the same. So I can tell this is healthy. My dogs absolutely love it, especially my small pit mix. Um, she is, like, really interested in these. So that's how I know they're healthy. If there's something that's just kind of filler, they're not really into it. But they absolutely go crazy for these. So, but only give them a few. Like treat it like an actual treat. Like you get a lot of treats here. Each piece is a treat. And so if you just give them a few a day, then they're, they're going to be okay. You don't want to give them the whole thing or it can irritate their stomach and then expand. But just give them a few of these and they love it. Dogs love these. And it's all healthy. You can also cook it too. But who, who wants to do that? Not me. I mean, and then you got to clean the pot. So, now, in terms of getting treats and snacks at the regular grocery store, um, there's some really inexpensive things that are super healthy and delicious for your dog. So, um, 
Dollar Tree sells some of this too, which is beans, peas, and lentils, but you gotta cook those. Or you could get a can. But the thing is, a lot of the cans have MSG in them, or they're lined with like uh, bad types of plastics that leach. So it's best to get them um, like dried. But remember, those are sprayed probably with chemicals. Um, oh, what do you call it? Uh, like yes, chemicals, things to suck up and absorb the moisture that cause cancer, all types of stuff. That's why they say to soak these. So really, you can't win. But anyways, um, you can get beans and cook them and rinse them and prepare them for your dogs. You can get a can. Um, organic beans are the best, but see now we're getting up in price, so we're going to talk about cheap. The very cheapest way to give your dog a treat at the grocery store is just giving them an egg. Eggs are extremely healthy. The entire whole egg, raw, uncooked, easy, um, very good for your dog. Dogs love eggs. Kind of do it outside though or they'll make a mess. And another thing that's really good for dogs and that they love is plain yogurt. Uh, don't get the kinds with like fruit and sugar in it. Just plain, the white whole milk yogurt is the best. And this is cheap because you don't give them the whole thing. You just give them a few spoons, like put a little bit in their dog food. And you still have most of it for yourself. And then you could mix in like molasses or sugar or vegetable or not, not vegetable, you, or um, fruit. You can also substitute like sour cream for yogurt sometimes. Um, I'm real picky with taste, so I wouldn't do that personally. But a lot of people do that and they don't notice uh, much difference. So eggs, plain yogurt, beans. They love carrots. So you can snap off little bites of carrots. Now, I don't know. My dogs, they're kind of beyond certain things. They'll still eat carrots, but... Uh, they love meat, and the cheapest way to get meat and protein is with these cans of fish here from Dollar Tree. And they really like that cauliflower pasta, but like they love eggs too, so maybe they like uh, eggs just as much. But uh, a lot of dogs love vegetables, produce, uh, don't give them grapes. My dogs, uh, they absolutely love avocado. Now, the peels and the pits are very dangerous, like they can make your dog throw up and they can even uh, damage their liver. But the meat, uh, the fruit part that you actually eat is actually really good for dogs. Just don't give them the skins or the pits. Make sure they don't get that. Um, it's really bad for them. Um, to where it might be okay for a human. Not, but It tastes gross. Why would you eat that? I don't know. But if a dog gets it, they will eat it. And uh, I find my dogs don't like oranges. They do like bananas, but um, my big dog looks, loves bananas. My small dog does not. So when it comes to things like berries, they, they like berries more. They like uh, strawberries. Um, I don't know about cherries. I haven't given them anything like that. Um, I know they like avocado. Bananas are a hit and miss. My two larger boys love it. My small pit does not. And she's not like a full pit. She's part pit. But she has a slender mouth and she does not have killing jaws. So she is not a threat to the general public like the pits in the neighborhood are here. Um, she's fun and she's not deadly. Okay, so what other what other food items do I suggest? Uh, probably not bread, but you can give your dog bread. They actually can um, eat some sugar and some bread in small amounts. And that's not bad for them. Uh, they uh, have the ability to taste sweet and sugar, which cats do not. Cats actually have to have like a diet of mainly protein. Uh, they're almost completely carnivores, but um, dogs actually uh, dogs actually do eat fruits and like grass and things in the wild. They eat more than just meat, and it's healthy for them to have small amounts of these other things and like carbs. Now. The dog food you buy in the store is full of chemicals and preservatives and things not listed on the label. Um, I would highly uh, suggest not to just buy uh, regular dog food at the store. Now, I get this brand called Gentle Giants. And it's uh, dried. I think they probably, you know, bake it a longer period of time or whatever they do. Um, Gentle Giants was made by the old actor who used to, he used to play Robin Hood in the old Batman shows. I think he just died, but uh, he worked for like, some dog rescues and formulated some type of dog food and started selling it himself. So, because there's not really a middleman 
then the price is reasonable. It's not that much more than your basic food. It is completely non-GMO. So I would suggest General Giants. Now since it's baked, it's cooked, and I'm sure they cook it quite a bit, and of course any, anything like this is processed, then you do need to add in things like eggs, fish, and fresh vegetables, and give them fruits too. They don't need a lot, just give them a little bit of these things, and then you'll find their health is a lot better. And if there's a way you can avoid these jabs and not give them to your dog, then that also will um, really reduce their chance of getting cancer, if you know what I mean. But uh, with good conscience, I can suggest um, these from Dollar Tree are great. Now, make sure that you check the ingredients, because this same brand... Uh, this only has water and salt with the fish. The same brand has other varieties that do have MSG in them. So you have to be careful and check your label. And of course, your cauliflower pasta. Now, don't forget to get eggs for your dog at the regular grocery store. They love avocado. Sometimes they like bananas. A lot of fruits. Uh, they're not too big into citrus fruits, so I would avoid that. They do love meat and things like that, but these are kind of expensive. Um, I'm not even buying meat anymore because I'm poor. But dogs do like beans. They do love beans, so you can give them that. My dogs love pasta water. I go pour it in their bowl, and they think it's a treat. So they're very happy with uh, very little. And uh, when you're poor, you find ways to make it work. Um, like, I found that for me, I'm just getting, like, bags of rice. And then I got some herbs out front. Surprisingly, they're not dead yet, even though it's freezing. And then you can just put the herbs in the plain rice, or you can put a little butter or oil and salt in the rice. And if you have nothing else, like, at least you won't be hungry. What I would do to save money is, like, I get a bag of rice. It's, like, $1.25 at the dollar store. You can cook this in like four different days. It'll last for like four days with a whole uh, day's worth of food. And then just sprinkle a little of my herbs in it that I already have. And put like a little uh, oil. You don't have to put oil at all. A little salt. Or just the herbs. But uh, another thing is just a plain rice. And then I have one can of vegetables. Or one can of beans. And then, you know, I've got like a bag of rice for $1.25. That could last four days depending. Some are more expensive, some are less expensive. And then just get one can of like mushrooms, vegetables, whatever, and one can with it each day. And then sprinkle a little salt. Uh, you, you got herbs growing outside, then even better. So these are ways to save money. And your dog will love this too. It also helps to um, clean your dishes if you let your dog lick out like your crock pot and stuff. If you let them lick out your dishes, then it will save you time and money. So hopefully you guys learned some uh, tips and tricks. I was always one to eat organic and try to be completely healthy. I am kind of broke right now. So I got to be careful. And that's why I can't afford the food I once loved. And this small town I've moved to has no Trader Joe's. That was like my go-to grocery store. So I don't know. It would be nice to be able to afford the foods I want. Like I was at the gym watching the TV and they had ads with like hamburgers in it and I'm like fantasizing about hamburgers so yeah and I was hungry today um, now what I like to eat for myself at Dollar Tree is they have uh, like cans this shaped cans with mussels and oysters in it so yeah I will say I had donation links didn't get a single penny you know all types of ways people could uh, support me but no I'm just broke and so uh, I guess I'm going to have to fast. But it's hard because I keep being hungry. I'm just going to have to like charge some food on the credit card. I don't know. Anyways, this is a very budget discount way to feed your dog. It's not about me complaining. If anyone does care, you, I could put um, a charity called Feed My Dogs. <laughs> and then um, I'll just use my own money to feed myself then, I guess. Um, but uh, thanks for watching and God bless you guys.